始。So what is going on here? Okay, uh, the soil the, the soil does not have a strong enough electrical charge or static charge to function as a humectant on its own. the The charge has to be a negative charge. If it was if it had a strong negative charge and water having a positive charge, the soil could attract the water and and it'll get wet. In this case, uh, the soil is hydrophobic or suffering from what we call hydrophobicity. This is the same thing that happens on a forest fire site uh, when the, uh, the organic matter of the uh, vegetation, when it's uh, on fire, it turns into a gas. When the gas cools, it settles down into the soil and makes the soil waterproof or hydrophobic. So one of the big problems in agriculture and even landscaping in the southwest is our soils are hydrophobic. Maybe not as bad as this, but nonetheless, um, they don't want to get wet. And so if I can add something to make the soil uh, more receptive to the water, in this case it would be the carbon matrix of our product called TerraPro, then that would break the hydrophobicity and help water uh, absorb into the soil and stay there. So the, one of the characteristics of the carbon matrix, uh, based on the research that we did with the help of the National Laboratory, Sandia and Los Alamos, where we did a molecular characterization uh, research project, is that we discovered that this carbon matrix of nature um, is a natural humectant, something that, that can attract water. When we put it into agricultural soils, we see an amazing improvement in the drought tolerable limits of the crop. Uh, in some cases as much as 70 to 80 percent less water is needed to grow that crop because we added uh, the carbon matrix to the soil. So this just exemplifies what hydrophobicity is. If I were to treat this site with the carbon matrix I would soon see this problem disappear.